We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. Hey guys, happy new year. And if you're like me, you're getting ready to completely declutter and organize your home. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing some extreme decluttering and organizing. I'm going to be tackling kitchen drawers, our disaster basement storage area. We're gonna be pulling everything out and organizing it. I'm gonna be organizing food um, and my refrigerator. We're also going to be decluttering clothes and folding them KonMari style and so much more. So I hope you're ready for some extreme decluttering and organizing. like wait a minute Jamie I thought you already took your Christmas stuff down I did but I'm actually filming this before Christmas um, I have this house that needs to be cleaned up and a lot of stuff on my to-do list so I started this before Christmas but just didn't finish the video until after so that's why some of our Christmas stuff is up but it doesn't matter because there's still gonna be a lot of cleaning decluttering and organizing in this video Ew. Hey guys, happy 2021. I hope you're ready for some extreme decluttering and organizing in today's video. So like I said earlier, this was right before Christmas. I had a lot that I needed to get done and I wasn't able to fully finish it until after Christmas. So this kind this video is kind of like a compilation of multiple days but I had started out in the morning and on day one I was kind of doing my cleaning warm-up and I've talked about this before and sometimes um, like when I have a big day of cleaning and organizing I need to do a little warm-up to kind of get me motivated and ready to tackle bigger projects so the warm-up was me picking things up from the living room and the kitchen and yes if you notice I do have a tag hanging from my sweatshirt so embarrassing um, I did notice it shortly after this and I was able to take it off but I was embarrassed, but whatever. Um, I recently got this sweatshirt from Target and I think it's super cute and comfortable. But anyways, I was picking things up from the countertops and the floors and, and then I was gonna be decluttering um, our mail drop area, our command center full of papers. So kind of paper, paper clutter. Mike and I were gonna be tackling his dresser, pulling out clothes, um, decluttering and refolding them in a way that makes much more sense and is much more efficient to create more room in his dresser and then we're also going to be tackling our basement storage area it was a big disaster and we needed to reorganize it before we put our christmas stuff stuff in there so and then i'm also going to be going around and doing various drawers in my kitchen and other decluttering and organizing projects throughout my home so this is kind of like one of those whole house organizing and decluttering So stay tuned for some basement storage area decluttering and organizing because I know you have an area in your home that looks just like our basement storage area that you need to declutter. So hopefully I can give you some motivation. So I was kind of going through the whole house today, this particular day, and just picking areas that were really bothering me. So this first area was the junk drawer and it was um, bothering me. We had a ton of stuff in here and I wasn't fully able to close it or things would get closed or 
like caught in the drawer a lot and so i wanted to reorganize it and i got this drawer organizer from amazon um i think it was maybe in the last winter so i will have it linked below and it's just nice because it's expandable um so it can fit your drawer depending on how big it is and i was just going through and cleaning things out rehoming things taking things out of here that don't need to go in here and then re reorganizing it in the container So the next step was this mail drop command center area. I created this little command center before school started. So my oldest daughter, Avery, is in kindergarten. If you're new to my channel, I have a I have three daughters. My oldest, Avery, is five and in kindergarten. And then I have twins who will be two in March. And with Avery starting kindergarten, I wanted to have an area that would we could organize her papers, her homework, um, you know, like the lunch menu, all of that stuff. So I created a little command center and a mail drop area um, at the beginning of the school year. So I went through um, and I wanted, so today I wanted to go through and purge and um, and I created different piles of things, things I wanted to keep, things I wanted to get rid of, things I wanted to save, like literally save and put in a kindergarten memorabilia bin for her. Um, and it's just one of those things where, you know, life, there's a lot of other things that demand your attention or are more, put get more of a priority than going through this area. And that's why it had become a little bit of a mess. So it was nice to kind of like focus and go through it. And it looked completely different when I was done. Hey guys, I am taking you to a place that you may have never been before. An area in my house that I think I've shown one time on a video, but most of the time I don't show it. And I'll this show is our you. little storage area. So we keep decorations and stuff that we don't really use much. Yeah, look how bad this is. You can't even walk in here. So we have Christmas decorations, fall decorations, um, clothes, probably clothes of Avery's that I'm saving for the twins, just random stuff. <sighs> and it's a mess in here. So we're gonna tackle it. We're gonna get this done, get it all cleaned up, packed away tightly as much as we can. We got this. So we wanted to literally pull as much as we could out of here. That way we could actually pick up every single item and before we place it back in here, we know that we need it. Um, and I just feel like that's a better system because it forces you to get rid of things that you normally wouldn't get rid of if you don't take it out of that space. Save yourself, but that's love. That's just love. So we just pulled everything that was sitting there in the middle out over here. We just wanted to get it all cleared out. So everything is sitting here. This is what we have to go through. And I mean, like we don't need to go through this, but um, some of this stuff does need like, that needs to be put in a fall bin. That needs to be put in a fall bin. Um, so this is the stuff that kind of just got sat in there because we were busy and you know how life gets. So we'll be putting all of this stuff in its proper place and then reorganized in here. Um, but this is 
how it looks now. Um, we're just gonna leave all of those in here. This is Christmas and fall, and as you guys know, you know you're seeing this after Christmas, but it is right before Christmas. Um, and obviously once all the Christmas stuff goes away, we'll have to put that the Christmas bins on the bottom and the fall on the top because next August or September, we'll be getting out the fall stuff. So we're leaving this stuff in here for right now. Um, and the goal, again, is just to bring all of that stuff in here and organize it as best as we can. And I think I've said this before in another video or other videos, we don't have an attic. And I hate complaining, saying we don't have a lot of space because I know our house is not small. But growing up, our house was a lot smaller than this house, but we had two attics. We had one over the garage and we had one in the house, like in our hallway. So um, same thing with Mike. So we cannot have a shed and we just have a regular um, size garage. Like it's a two car garage, but we also have like bikes and kids toys, outdoor toys. And then we have a deep freezer out there. So we can't even fit both of our cars in the garage with all of that. So uh, I feel like we're busting at the seams in here, um, but at least doing this once a year kind of helps get rid of any extra stuff. Um, most of the stuff we do need to keep, unfortunately, but there's always stuff we can get rid of. Do with your broken heart, no matter what you think, you'll never ever get enough of love. So we are done. So we've made a lot more room, a lot more progress, a um, lot more space, as much space as we can make. Um, but yeah, I think it looks, yeah, not as perfect as I would like it, but good enough. And then over here, this is everything that we are getting rid of, donating, rehoming to somebody else, or putting somewhere else in the house. Um, like, that's just like everyday decor that I know I'm, in a few days I'm gonna be putting up in the house, so I'm just gonna keep that out right now. Um, but yeah, other stuff that can be thrown away, donated, all of that, so. Feels pretty good um, to get this taken care of and it cross it off of the to-do list. You're gone now, will you come me back? Mike had ran to the store really quickly just to pick up a few groceries that we needed to get through the holidays, basically fruit because we always need fruit with the girls. So I was just washing them, putting them in the refrigerator. And I find that if I just take the time right when we get back from the grocery store to wash and prepare the fruit, it's just much better in the long haul. I um, also get a lot of questions on these fruit containers. I'll have them linked in the description, but they help keep produce fresh for longer and I definitely think they work. I was also just wiping out a few of the refrigerator shelves that needed to be wiped out, nothing crazy um, or not a ton of cleaning, and then I was going to organize the rest of the food that we had. I can feel you. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart.
my biggest New Year's resolution is to um, drink more straight water. I drink a lot of water in general, but I don't know. I feel like in the past couple of months, I've been doing a lot of like Gatorade Zero or Powerade Zero, and I just wanna get more on the pure water train. So that's why I have the sparkling water I've been drinking but I really like lemon water. I used to do it all of the time when I was pregnant because I had to obviously drink so much water being pregnant with twins. Um, and then when I was um, pumping milk after they were born and I used to always flavor with lemon and I really just love basic lemon water, but kind of got away from that. So stocking up now, getting my lemons and ready for lemon water in the new year. I'll go ahead and link my Instagram in the description. I'll also have it right here. I would love for you guys to come over and find me over there. It's just another way to be able to connect and chat with you guys. So we need to go through his clothes because in a recent video, I said this. So he started piling clothes there and here, and when I asked him why, he said it's because he can't fit clothes in his dresser. So I said, we're gonna go through it. So when I talked about this in my recent video, I got a lot of message of people saying that their husband, boyfriend, whoever did the same thing. And I think it's kind of a man thing, a guy thing. Um, but it cracked me up because he's such a laid back, go with the flow guy. Nothing seems to ever bother him. And he's just a simple guy. So just letting clothes pile up doesn't seem to bother him, but it definitely bothered me. Honestly, I don't think he would have done anything about it if it wasn't for me saying something so it was just nice to not have the kids because usually if i'm cleaning you know he's with the kids so i was like all right we're gonna do it today we're going through your dresser <laughs> and i don't know i think i was more excited about than he was <laughs> um but we like created different piles one pile for um clothes that we we're going to donate and then a pile of clothes that he was going to keep and he clearly loves his t-shirt he knows how to look nice and he does dress nice but he is definitely a t-shirt guy This is everything we're donating. Um, those are undershirts that can just be thrown away. And all of the shirts he's keeping and folded in the Kamari method. So we put all of his like t-shirts that he, like the nicer t-shirts, if that makes sense. Um, these are his workout clothes that de didn't need to be folded um, perfectly. And then these are just undershirts that we didn't even bother with, but look at all of that room. You have way more, he has way more room in here and then he has just some jeans down there. So now we're gonna grab this, but now he can 
fit everything in here, still room to spare. All right guys, all of this laundry needs to be folded. I'm gonna do it, totally dreading this. <laughs> it just seems like such a big task when you have to sit here and fold laundry, but the more I let it pile up, the worse it's gonna be. And I don't know if you guys can hear the washer running right now, but I have another load in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, put on some Crime Junkie, my favorite podcast, kind of relax and fold all of this laundry. So I guess this is my little P PSA. I've talked about this recently, um, but if I would have looked like back in when I started my channel in 2017, I look back at my videos and if I would have been peeking at my videos now back then, I would have thought I was crazy. Um, I think with one kid, we didn't have the messes that we have now. We were able to be had more time on our hands, you know, because we weren't pulled in so many directions. And I would have said, okay, you need better cleaning routines or something like that. And I think what I've learned is that, you know, life happens. Um, not everyone's life is the same. We all have different demands and different lives. And um, so I don't know. I just, I have my cleaning routines. We really try to do one load of laundry every single day, like from start to finish. That is our goal. And I would say most of the time we hit it, but there are times where we don't. Um, and we've kind of had a streak of times where we're not getting the laundry done and it's okay that that happens sometimes. Sometimes you have to give yourself some grace and say, it's okay, we'll get back to it. Um, but just don't beat yourself up when you have those times. I just kind of went through these drawers not too long ago, maybe like two months ago. But I guess my advice for you guys is that I have found that decluttering and organizing is an ongoing thing. Like it's not like you do it once and it stays that way. So a lot of the stuff you're seeing me do in this video, there are things we have to keep up on. And if we don't, then it really gets out of hand. So that's kind of my goal in today. Just I'm going around and getting all of those random places. Of course, I'm doing some normal cleaning, but it's nice to be able to fo focus on these drawers or the junk drawer or the storage area because to be honest with you normal daily life it's just keeping up with the kids and like the mopping and the wiping things down you know this stuff is the type of stuff that gets pushed to the side and we just keep pushing more and more stuff in here so um is i'm just like i just went through this they're gonna be like how did it get that messy well <laughs> it is um and so as long as i can kind of keep up on it and do it periodically then it it um then it's, it kind of keeps up with itself and I don't, it doesn't get too out of hand except for the storage area that obviously got out of hand. But decluttering and organizing is an ongoing thing and some things, you know, we do once a year, some things we do twice a year and there are other things that maybe we do monthly or every couple months. I just feel like that's what it is. I just feel like that's how it works for us. Um, but if you guys feel the same way, don't feel bad because it's just part of, I guess, having a house, having kids, and decluttering and organizing. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's not in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat. So like I said earlier, I was able to under, um, organize under my sink in the hall closet area that is off of our garage like in the house, but off of when we come in from our garage. I was kind of in need of an area where we could store all of our shoes and the coats, multiple coats that our kids need, um, as well as hats and gloves. We live in Northern Ohio, so we get snow and then the next day it's 50 degrees. We have rain boots, snow boots, tennis shoes, you know, 
cute boots, all of that, because we have girls. Um, so previously we had kept the hats and the gloves in this drawer and we couldn't even fit all of what we have in there. Um, so we needed a better system and I made a kind of DIY mudroom area. I created that so we had more space for all of those things for all three kids and I also organized under my sink. So I will have that video linked below because it was one of my favorites. So as you guys are seeing this video, you need to go check out my video that went up on Sunday. I'll have it linked in the description because I had a plan for gloves and hats, which like I said, this is before I filmed that video, I'm still waiting on some the things that I need to organize. So that's why I couldn't film that video today. Um, but I had needed a new system for the hat, hats and gloves. So go check that video out. Um, but again, doesn't look perfect, but I was able to get rid of all of that stuff and rehome some of this other stuff. So that's what I mean by decluttering and organizing more frequently because I just did this, like I said, two months ago and there was already stuff that I knew I could get rid of or rehome. So when I was done organizing those drawers, I wanted to pick up wipe down and do some other cleaning in the kitchen. Um, and then like scrubbing out the sink and then vacuuming and mopping. But like I said, um, during this time of the year, I really get that bug, that motivation to declutter and organize my whole house. Obviously this year, well, I guess 2020 was a little bit different, but in normal years, I feel like all of a sudden, we have a lot more free time on our hands in January. You know, it's it feels like the fall is always busy for whatever reason. And then we have Thanksgiving and Christmas and those holidays. And then everything just seems to completely fall off. And we have a lot more free time. So usually that's when I use the time, that free time, to start focusing on those areas to declutter and organize kind of like a fresh start new year fresh start so it makes me go through and I tackle all of the places that have become decluttered over the year and that's the thing with decluttering and organizing it's an ongoing process and I've, I've even found that um it doesn't mean if you have to reorganize an area, it doesn't mean that that system didn't work, but sometimes your life changes. Um, you get a new job or your schedule changes or your kids take on new activities and you have new stuff or you have an extra, another kid or something like that. Um, so even though you know you had a good system before, things change. Um, and so it, it always, to me, seems like an ongoing thing. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the dark. You're like a firefly Guide me out of the woods now oh. I think I lost my way but got you to help me back Tell me what I should do now Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark you're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark Look at this, guys completely full off of just vacuuming. 
completely full. And all I did was vacuum all of this. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's so satisfying, but also it makes me realize like I should be vacuuming about twice a day. But nobody has time for that. But anyways, feels good. So I was going to, like I said, vacuum it and mop. I always like to do that at the end, just as everything's done. Um, and to mop, I was using Powdered Tide, which um, is something I've been using a lot lately on here on my channel. And I've talked about it, but I just I think it's kind of random. So I always want to make for sure I like specifically talk about why I'm using it if you're new or if you've missed that. But I follow an Instagram account. It's Go Clean Co. And it is um, a lady who owns her own cleaning company out of Canada. And she swears by using Tide and how powerful of a cleaner it is. And so you just literally use one teaspoon of powdered Tide in a mop bucket with super hot water. And it's a great floor cleaner. And I've had a ton of you guys message me and say you've tried it and it really works like way better than any other floor cleaner you've used and why I like doing it is because it's simple it's cheap I mean one teaspoon out of that whole box I mean a box lasts me forever and then on top of that it makes my downstairs smell like fresh laundry so to me it's like a win-win all around and I've loved I've been really loving it lately But that's it for the video. I hope it gave you some motivation. I hope it makes you want to go declutter and organize an area or space in your home. Make sure you stay tuned because there'll be more decluttering and organizing and of course cleaning videos coming here up on my channel. So I would love to have you sub sub subscribe. I'm having a hard time saying that if you're new and you're not. Um, but either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be